two, three. And, and we're, we're the, the Traveling Wilburys. Great. Got it. Got it. Great. <clears throat> You're not seeing my shoe, are you? <laughs> <sighs> I wasn't prepared for this. Stand Tony just called please. us 30 minutes ago. Kurt, don't yeah. lean in at all, please. Don't lean in. Don't break. I wasn't. No. Just don't. Don't do anything. No. I'm not moving. I'm not going to move. I'll just act relaxed. Okay. What exactly do you want? Okay. There's a, there's a I'm lot just of this. asking Kurt that you do like a little setup, like a, an introduction that you're sitting here with George Harrison. Stand by, Kurt. Four, three, two. Hi, I'm sitting here with George Harrison, or Nelson Wilbury, I suppose, as you'll be better known soon. George, explain to us the, uh, the genesis of the Wilburys, if you could. It's one of those things that um, I think had, had you tried to plan it, it would um, never have happened. It just happened by its own accord. Like one night, you guys were just it all It was actually uh, April the 4th this year. Mm -hmm. I was um, asked by the, my record company to give them an extra song to put on a 12-inch extended single mm -hmm. for Germany and uh, Great Britain, which I didn't have any extra tunes recorded at the time, so I just thought, well, I'll go in tomorrow, go in a, a studio someplace, and uh, I'll just write one and do it then. It's only a seaside, <laughs> like a... <laughs> so... A seaside. <laughs> they want this extra song, so... I was having dinner with Jeff Lynne. Mm -hmm. He was having dinner with Roy Orbison, and uh, I said to Jeff, do you feel like coming along? And he said, sure. Roy Orbison said, well, if you do something, give me a call. <laughs> I went round to Tom Petty's house to pick up my guitar, which was at his house. And he said, oh, I was wondering what I was going to do tomorrow. <laughs> and in the meantime, we were with such short notice, I didn't uh, know of any studio I could find that quickly. Yeah. So I called uh, Bob. And he said, sure, come on over. He's just got a little, little tape machine in his garage. So we went over <laughs> and I just made part of the tune up that morning. And um, we went to his house. Jeff and I sat in the garden, made up the, finished the tune off. I went in, uh, put it down, wrote the lyrics all together and mixed it. We did it all, it was all written and done in one day. How do you write the lyrics all together with like <coughs> five guys in the room? Does that uh, present any difficulties? It was five guys in the garden, actually. We were sitting out in the garden. It was uh, really good. I mean, it just happened that, you know, I got a piece of paper and a pencil and I said, okay, come on. It's all these great <laughs> writers now. Let's have some lyrics. And uh, they were saying, well, what's it about? What's it called? And I just kept looking around for a clue <laughs> of what it was called. And I saw this cardboard box behind the garage door and it said, Handle with Care. I said, it's called Handle with Care. He said, yeah, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> and then it was easy. It just started, you know, being beat up and battered around and somebody else said something else and that was it. It was written and uh, recorded just on April the 5th. Was this such a great experience that you decided immediately that you should go ahead and go after an album? No, I took it to the record company and said, well, there's the extra song for the... Um, the German market. <laughs> and they said, oh, God, we can't, you know, this is it's too good to just throw away like that. So they didn't want to use it. The Germans wouldn't be happy to hear about that. No. So uh, I just had hold of this song for a couple of weeks, and I thought, well, I can't think of what to do with it. It's, I can't put it out as a single for me. It's not on my album. Mm. So I thought, well, maybe they'd like to do another nine tracks. <laughs> and I asked the other guys, and they said, sure. So we got together in May, and we did it based on the theory that if we could write one tune and record it in, in one day, then maybe we could write another nine and record them. So we did that. We just got together, and we just sat down, and we wrote a tune. We put it down on tape, wrote another one, and we did it like that quick. Yeah. Then later, Jeff Lynn and myself took the tapes and started overdubbing on it, put bass and drums mm -hmm. and uh, various instruments on it, but basically it was all written and done instantly. Mm -hmm. Is there any common sound to all this stuff, or just certain people come to the floor <coughs> on certain tracks and other Yeah, there's things? obviously, there's tunes that Bob had the most influence on, it sounds like him, and there's a song which we wrote 
specifically for Roy, which is very much like an old kind of Roy Orbison song. But it's a good, the album, it, it's not like we tried to set out to do something that wasn't like going and buying uh, an album of mine or yeah. ELO or Tom Petty, Bob Dylan or Roy Orbison. We tried to combine everything and it's worked very well. What is the, is this going to be, could you describe this music to someone who hasn't heard it? Myself. Uh, well, I think it's basically very, it's very up music. It's very, very up, you know, that is to say, it's a good danceable, if you well, like good. to dance. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's fun. It's just really good, fun music. It says some funny things and... Uh, the sound of it, because we all basically tend to dislike computers, and so it's very wooden. I mean, mm. it's the first band that I can think of that's got five rhythm guitar players. But Jeff, too, I imagine you'd be adding something in. Yeah, there. we've added touches here and there, but we've tried to keep it, you know, more or less like it was as we wrote it and did it. It's, uh, it's polished off a bit, but not too much. Mm. Is there some story behind, behind the name of the Wilburys that you could perhaps let us in on? Uh, oh, that was last year when Jeff Lynn and myself were doing Cloud Nine. Mm. I don't know, we probably had too many drinks. We were just talking about something, and this came out. The Trembling Wilburys suddenly... The trembling Wilburys? Yeah. And then it turned into the Traveling Wilburys, and that was it. It was forgotten about, really. And when we recorded this song, you know, I just said to Jeff, this is it. This is the Traveling Wilburys. <laughs> Video. Is there a storyline in the video you could tell us about, or how did the yeah. idea? <clears throat> the story to the video is that there's these five guys singing a song around a microphone, uh -huh. and I don't think you need much more of a story than that. How true. Each person in it has their own story. <laughs> it's good for me. Is it good for anyone else out there? Let's ask in the control room, they'll talk back to us. We love that. That's good. good. Disembodied but very personal, yeah. I think. Good. That was great. Can we I take my leg? I think my leg uh, fell asleep. Larry, do you have now hear this impromptu, please? George, it's possible to get some of your promos from me for um, shows that will be airing Traveling Wilbur's video. Sure. Tony's sure. saying it's coming up or something. Okay. <coughs> uh, if, if you would learn powder. No, what shall I say? I don't take powder. No. No. Larry, can we get some? Okay, I'll pull my hair down. Nothing, nothing wrong with being yeah, shiny. Don't let them no. yeah, I'm not going to be here. I'm oh, yeah, okay. here. So, so I'll just Hold say. The we traveling Wilburys are coming up soon. Right, we have something written. You can play off it or ignore it. It just has the show's title. If any, if you only use it for that, okay, then that's fine. It'll be put up in there in a second. Okay. Okay. Who? Just say coming up to preview and in the comments. Oh, he's very good, thank you. Yeah. I don't know how you pronounce Danny. Is the show Danny. Taped yeah. Yet? Danny. Does he still play? Okay, great. Play what? <laughs> he plays piano. Would you want to do it as a will? Yeah, can I see the whole thing? Can you roll up prompter, please? Up. And our new video is coming up on... Now, now hear this. What did he say on our new... On now hear this. Uh, now hear show. this, yeah, okay. What I'm just being told is, a, it should be said, a sneak preview of our new video is coming up a on now hear this. A sneak preview. Of our new video. So, and a sneak preview is coming up on now hear this. And you can do the last number. Yeah. Okay. Just, just try to... Just roll it. Keep that in there. Okay, it's great. We're set to try it. <laughs> and once again, the only thing is in a sneak preview of our new video. Uh, let me know when you're set, inside. Okay, George. Three, two. Hi, I'm Nelson Wilbury of the Traveling Wilburys. And our new video is coming up on Now Hear This. Time to get traveling. Okay, keep speed going. Now, what was that about sneak preview? We can do it the, just the same, but instead of saying our new video, say, and a sneak preview of our new video is coming up. Okay. Because we're going to air it before the world premiere of the video, and we're just going to tease them with it. So if you can say in a sneak preview or a sneak look at our new video is coming up. Okay. Okay, you still rolling? Three, two. Hi, I'm Nelson Wilbury of the Traveling Wilburys, and a sneak 
preview of our new video is coming up on Now Hear This. This is? Great. Is it, it's not coming up on Now Hear This. Yes, it is. The deal is that uh, the, the video is world premiering <laughs> tomorrow night, and this, so we're just showing them like 20 seconds of it on Now Hear This. So it's like, oh, here's a little secret. Oh, uh, 20, which 20 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> We're the best the 20 feature the video video video. Why don't you sneak the whole thing out? <laughs> That's the thing, you have these, what are they called? Uh, Modern attention pass. You know, when, you've, when you get a, a, a new video and it's called... Um, sneak preview sneak video. video? No, no, when you call it uh, an, a, a, a exclusive. Exclusive, yeah. And it's so exclusive, you never see it. <laughs> <clears throat> That's what happened to Fab. <laughs> It showed in January, exclusive, and then it, it, we never saw it again. <laughs> do you want to do that one again? One more time, yeah. So let me see. Uh, and a sneak preview of our new video is coming up. Exactly. Okay. Do we have speed? Great. In three, two. Hi, I'm Nelson Wilbury of the Traveling Wilburys, and a sneak preview of our new video is coming up any minute now. Hold on one second. Oh. Hold the yeah. weekend rock. Right, you can improvise. Right. The weekend rock. Just hi, I'm whoever. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the weekend rock. Or say anything you want. You be whimsical. It's real. Weekend rock. Okay, so this is weekend rock. Uh, maybe a wake up. I mean, it's essentially it's you know, hi, I'm so and so. Welcome to the weekend rock. You can improvise. You can be extemporaneous. You can be English. Let me know when you're ready. Weekend rock. Okay. You set and set. Okay, here we go. Three, two. Hi, I'm Nelson Wilbury, and I'm watching A Week in Rock, hoping that they're going to play the Traveling Wilbury's new video. <laughs> well done. Great. <laughs> because we will. For one, one more real quick one. All we need you to say is wake up to MTV. Without saying your name, we'll just cut it in with a whole bunch of other people saying, wake up to MTV. It's around mornings. Kind of an alarm clock rings and different people say, wake up to MTV. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> wake up to MTV. This is the last thing we're doing. <coughs> Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Three, two. Wake up to MTV. Great. Tapping okay, Thank you, everyone. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much.